inside your head. Right. Ghost Charge is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't say it all in breath. I bet you can. Long before Indiana Jones and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, another action-adventure star ruled the movie screens of the 40s. This superstar was Lana Barnes. Hanging off the wings of airplanes or wrestling a giant octopus, Lana Barnes was the most athletic action star in the world. In two weeks at the elegant Stedmore Hotel in Brooklyn, New York, Lana will receive an award for all of the wonderful work she's done in movies. And now, Lana Barnes' first smash hit film, Wings of Glory. I don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. You can see that? He wants to be friends with us. He can hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost, and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. What a trip. She said we should just come in. Miss Barnes, we're here from the tailor shop to pick up your dress. I'll be out at the end of this round. Wow. Look at this place. I'll bet all this stuff is from her movies. Ah, uh, Tina, don't touch things. Sorry. A gazillion apologies for keeping you waiting. I have a passion for shadow boxing. It's the workout of champions. <laughs> I'm Lana Barnes, the first female action hero in American movie history. You're my favorite star. <clears throat> I've seen all of you. <clears throat> I'm Mrs. Nguyen, and this is my daughter, Tina. Well, I'm happy to meet you both. <laughs> is that the dress, Miss Barnes? The one and only. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm afraid my... I'm a prisoner of my passion here. Would you mind doing that? There, thank you. There. This gown was created for me 50, uh, 40 years ago by... Dorian, designer to the stars. It's a famous red ruby gown. You wore it to the premiere of The Mobster and Mink. I'm wearing it to an award ceremony. Next week, for Lifetime Achievement at the Stenmore Hotel. You know as much about my career as I do, Pepper Pot. I've seen all of your movies. Wings of Glory, Florence of Arabia, All Around the World, Dangerous Curves. Tina? Can I have your autograph? Tina, wow. don't trouble the lady. Oh, no, no, no. It's no trouble at all. Of course you can have my autograph. No trouble at all. 
As a matter of fact, you you might be a big help. Me? You see, with all the excitement about the award ceremony, suddenly I'm getting dozens of fan mail filling my mailbox. And, of course, I'm trying to create my speech for the award ceremony. And at the same time, I'm being bombarded by a tidal wave of new scripts. So, you see, I, I'm in desperate need of a Girl Friday. Girl Friday? A secretary. Someone to handle the mail and run errands. Exactly. You certainly are a sharp little firecracker. Uh, maybe you could come back tomorrow for a little audition before I give my final decision. After school, you must do your homework and help in the shop. I promise to keep up with my work. I can't pass this up. Landa's my hero. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, fantabulous. Here's your picture. You are a very clever girl. Well, I'll see you after school tomorrow for your little audition. Ta-ta, Pookie! Anna Barnes called me Pookie. Wow. Grandma! I learned a front snack you can cry today. Yeah. How's it going, Bruce Lee? Denitra, what are you doing here? Sit down for a minute, Jammy Jam. Jammy Jam? Uh-oh. You only call me that when you're scared or something's wrong. Listen, Mom called me at the dorm this morning. Grandma's cold got a lot worse. What? Well, the doctor checked her into the hospital for a few days just in case. Just in case what? Well, in case they need to run a few more tests, or she needs a full-time nurse. Don't worry, it's not that serious. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And I ain't seen a bird all day. Now you're gonna come with me to the hospital so you can see for yourself. Dr. Pappas, please report to OR. Dr. Pappas. Mom? It's okay. You can come closer. Everything is going to be fine, Jamal. Yes, you hear me? Everything is going to be fine. Duckling, I'm thrilled you could make it. Wow. You see, I'm trying to decide which hat to wear to which interview. You know, if there's anything besides my talent that made me a star, it's my keen instinct for accessories. The right hat can shake the earth to its core. Wow. Well, here we are. The stage is set for your audition, Pookie. Wow. This is your desk from Career Girl. Adventures in the Concrete Jungle. Tina, you have the eyes of a hawk. Let the audition begin. You're thrown, my little princess. There. Now, this is a typical fan letter. <clears throat> Dear Nana, you are my favorite star. I love you. La 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 da 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 da. Please send me an autographed picture. Sincerely, Anne Ortega. Now, your job is to answer this letter as if you are the fantabulous Lana Barnes. It must have my personal touch. Hmm? Start with this one. And when you're done, uh, Bang the gong. Bang the gong? 
Bang the gong when you're ready to tell me that you are done and ready for me to see your work. Break a limb. But what should I write? Tina, you are teetering on the edge of an adventure. Dive in. Miss Ortega, thank you for writing. Here is an autographed picture. Sincerely, Lana Barnes. Uh, well, it's uh, it's certainly very clear and precise, but but it's too cold, most unfriendly. Unfriendly? You see, my fans are, are the air I breathe, the songs I sing. I treat my fans like my best friends. Have another go, Pookie. Think warm. Think friendly. that you wrote to me. Your letter warmed my heart. I signed this picture just for you. Your friend, Lana Barnes. Close, but not close enough. You see, you have to make it sound like me. I write the way I talk, Ladybug. Now you pretend you are the fantabulous Lana Barnes. Talk like me. Write like me. Have fun, sweetie pie. Have fun, sweetie pie. Pretend you're Lana. The fantabulous Lana Barnes. I write the way I talk, Pookie. Thank you, my ladybugs. You are the air I breathe, sweetie pie. Yeah. Sweetie pie. Your friendly note warms my heart. I chose this photo just for you, because my fans are the year. Because my fans are the air I breathe, the songs I sing, and everything that means anything to me, Pookie. Love and smooches, Lana. Congratulations, Girl Friday. You have won the job.
you are a star. But I know who you really are. Do you remember me? I remember you. And soon the world will know who's who. We're to the max. No return address. The postmark is from Hollywood. How can I send a picture? This doesn't sound like the other letters. It doesn't say anything nice about Lana. This is strange. And I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, well, there's a... Oh. Oh. Well, the stars get all kinds of letters, Lamb Chop. Now, here, and soon the world will know who's who. Well, it's obviously from a fan congratulating me on my paragraph in Who's Who. But why? The most famous people in the world are in Who's Who. And I have a longer paragraph than the President of the United States. It's a very big deal. But, but I thought that here we are, yes. Now, right here on page 68, column two. Now then, I've got to get back to my workout, Chickadee, and then I have to finish my acceptance speech. So I trust you to do your job by yourself. Sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> okay. Uh, who is it? It's Michael Jordan! Jordan steals the ball from Kareem Abdul-Jamal! Jordan goes out! Jordan goes out! Three points! <laughs> so, how's Grandma Cece? She looked a whole lot better this afternoon. We went to the party animal store to buy her a get well card, but they all had dumb jokes on them. Yo, those jokes weren't dumb. They were funny. I liked them. <laughs> See what I mean? <clears throat> and the woman took over the basketball league! <laughs> Are you okay, Gabby? I'm better than okay. I'm brilliant. I just solved the get well card problem. We can make a mobile. A mobile? <laughs> like that one. Except we each make our own part telling Grandma to get well in our own way. Yeah. And I can bring it to her when I go to the hospital tomorrow. Great idea, Gabby. Come on, let's get the whole team to do it. <laughs> Rosebud, here's a special autographed picture for Grandma Cece's Get Well Mobile. Thanks. She'll love it. I know. I'm uh, riding my bicycle over to the tailor shop. Your mother wants me to try on my gown. Ta-ta, sweet potato pie. Ta-ta, pepperoni pizza. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Creepy letter. Hello? 
Hello? <gasps> um, hello? Who is this? Hello? Guys made it. Visiting hours are almost over. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You look like you've just seen a ghost. Uh, I'm okay, you guys. I just didn't want to miss your mom. Thanks, guys. My grandma's gonna love this mobile. See you around. Bye. Later. Later. Bye. Are you sure you're okay? Come on, let's go up to my place so we can talk. Oh, I have to stay here till my dad gets back. But I'll be up as soon as I can, Tina, okay? Wait a minute. Pass. <laughs> you kids really outdid yourselves. And an autographed picture from Lana Barnes? I feel like I died and went to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I'm at a funeral parlor with all these flowers. Don't say that. What's your problem? I just don't want to talk about funerals and dying and stuff. Oh, sweetheart. Now, I'm not going to roll over and die, so relax. <laughs> Anybody with eyes can see I'm getting stronger and more gorgeous every day. <laughs> huh. And I bet your boyfriend, Mr. Bertram Braithwaite, Thinks you're getting more gorgeous, too. Mr. Braithwaite is not her boyfriend. Who says he isn't? I do. <laughs> your mom's jealous. <laughs> Come on and give me some sugar before you miss your bus back to college. I love you, Grandma. You write me about your boyfriend, and I'll write you about mine. Ooh. You're going to miss your bus. <laughs> not as much as I'm going to miss you, Jammy Jam. <laughs> Mwah. Quite hairy. That's Swahili, y'all. Guajari. Guahu. <laughs> my, my, my. If I'd have known I was going to be treated like a queen, I would have gotten sicker a long time ago. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Feel better? A little. What happened? Well, first of all, someone kept calling on the phone and hanging up, and I answered it. Are you all right? What'd I miss? Go on. What happened before? I'm supposed to answer all the fan mail for Lana. Yesterday, I got a letter from Hollywood. It was really weird. All around the world, you are a star. But I know who you really are. Do you remember me? I remember you. And soon the world will know who's who. Huh? Lana thought I was making a big deal out of nothing. Then today, this postcard came. So I thought it was really scary. But maybe I need to read it again to be sure. We'll help you figure it out. Mobster and mink, you stole my wings of glory and flew all around the world. Dangerous curves ahead. Beware. Beware. That gives me the creeps. Who's a mobster? The Mobster and Mink is a title of one of Lana's movies. She played a glamorous criminal. Look, here's Wings of Glory. That's a title, too. Hey, Dangerous Curves. That's my favorite Lana Barnes movie. But it says Dangerous Curves Ahead. Whoever wrote this used the names of her movies to threaten her. And he sounds mad. I think you better warn this lady. She's in trouble. What if she doesn't believe me? I might lose my job. You can prove it to her, Tina. Sure, I'll use the titles. Mobster and Mink, 
Wings of Glory, and Dangerous and Curves. And don't forget All Around the World. Hold up, that's a title? Yeah, a musical. Her only flap. Well, those words, they're in the letter too. All Around the World, You Are a Star. Wait a minute. Soon is in all capital letters and underlined twice. Look at this. My is in capital letters and underlined twice on this postcard too. Two creepy messages. Both have movie titles and both have underlined words. They were written by the same person. I was right. We have to warn Lana. Call her on the phone. She went to the tailor shop to get her dress fitted. Hello, Mom. Go for night to Atlanta, be a... Betty Dove. Oh, no! What's wrong? Why didn't you ask her? Lana never showed up at the tailor shop. Where could she be?